Hey everyone, this is Alan over at Drone Pilot Ground School. It's been about 36 or 37 hours since I've passed my aeronautical knowledge test, and I want to apply for my remote pilot certificate. So I want to go through that process with you as I, as I apply. Um, so I'm just going to record my screen here as, as I go through it. So the first step is to find the application website. Um, at the moment, if you go to faa.gov slash UAS, just their primary unmanned aircraft systems page. On the right, there's this becoming a pilot section. If you scroll down, kudos to the FAA, by the way, for continuing to update their website uh, with, a, with a lot of bullet points here. Um, so first time pilots, you must pass the test, right? After you pass the test, you need to register using this system, log in with your username and password, and then start the application and follow the prompts. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I already have an account here. I logged into the top right with my username and password. If you haven't done this yet, you would just click on register. I am not going to save my password. I need to accept the terms of service. It's basically just talking through kind of what to expect. It's a government information system. Uh, no reasonable expectation of privacy. That's always fun to read, um, but you have to click. <laughs> you have to click the button to move on. I'm going to start a new application. First, I have to choose the type of application. I'm literally going through this the first time, folks. Pilot certifications. We're going to select the remote pilot certification. There's only one certificate class, and it looks like it's already highlighted for me. Small unmanned aircraft system. And I'm going to start my application. Okay, so we've started the application here. Um, the first section, this personal information, may auto-populate from the account that you just registered with IACRA. But if it doesn't, just make sure to fill all of this out. Your residential address below. So that's the first section here. There's the supplementary data section. Um, yes, I speak English. No, I've never been convicted for violation of a federal or state statute re relating to, to drugs, marijuana, depression, or similar drug substances. Um, Comments. These comments will appear in the remarks comment section of the application. Hello. This is Alan. No, not necessary. Um, no, no comments there. So, save and continue. Basis of issuance. Um, completion of knowledge test. I punched in my driver's license and my knowledge test exam ID. So, um, you need to know your exam ID. If you took your test at a, an FAA licensed testing center, which you had to do, you likely got some sort of confirmation email. Um, you likely also received a piece of paper after you passed the test with your exam ID. So this was my exam ID. I'm going to search. Again, it's been about 36, 37 hours since I've taken the test. It looks like uh, here it is. Great. So I'm going to associate the test to this application. And I'm going to save and continue. Have you ever been denied a remote pilot certificate for any reason? Important information for IACRA applicants. Your application cannot be completed until all validation errors are corrected. It looks like I have a bunch of check marks here, which is good. Um, let's see. Review it carefully. Know your FTM username and password. Read and understand the Pilot Bill of Rights and Privacy Act statements by clicking the buttons below. Then review your application before signing and completing it. So um, let me just try clicking on the View Pilots Bill of Rights. Pop-up blocked. Always allow pop-ups. Let's try that one more time. Perfect. I'm just going to download that as a PDF. And I'm going to do the same thing here with the Privacy Act. I will download this as a PDF and read it later. Close. Okay, and now it looks like this button is activated. Review application. All right, I had to pause the video for a second. When I clicked review application, I got my full application with my social security number and home address and all that good information uh, popping up. So I, I just removed that from the video, and now I'm going to finish things up here.
So I need to sign the pilot's bill of rights acknowledgement. Okay, I'm going to click to sign. And now it looks like this sign and complete application button has been activated. Okay, so it says, thank you for submitting your application. Uh, please note your temporary remote pilot certificate will be available in IACRA in approximately two to four business days. I thought that it was going to be uh, 10 to 14 business days, so that is very exciting. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, this time range may very well change. Um, if, if that happens, I will do my best to update the notes in this video. Uh, but so far, a pretty straightforward process. I'd say that... Um, I don't, I don't know how long this video recording is, but maybe about 10 minutes, uh, maybe less than 10 minutes. I mean, I had my, my exam ID with me. I had my driver's license with me. A lot of information auto-populated. Um, overall, a very straightforward process and look forward to receiving my drone pilot certificate um, in a few business days. Thanks.